Roasting on your Weber Q is so easy. And no matter which model you have, you'll get fantastic results. Let me show you how to set up and preheat your Q ready for roasting. To convert your Q from a barbecue into an oven, you'll need a Q convection tray and your Q trivet. Weber have developed these accessories to make roasting and baking really easy. And they're made specifically to fit the Weber Q. Just place the convection tray in the middle of the grill. It easily locates into position. And pop your trivet on top. They come in three sizes. One for the baby Q, the Q, and the family Q. To light your barbecue, turn your gas bottle on. Turn your control knob to the start high position, then immediately press your igniter button. Preheat on high for around 10 minutes. Today we're cooking a roast leg of lamb. This one's about two kilos. A lovely way to prepare your lamb is with some garlic, rosemary, some lemon juice, and some salt and pepper. Make around eight to 10 incisions in the lamb and place a small sliver of garlic and a small amount of rosemary into each one. Then squeeze the lemon and smear the juice all over the outside and generously season with salt and pepper. I often hear people suggest that you should cook meat for so many minutes per kilo. But we believe that the cooking time of roasts has surprisingly little to do with its weight. It has more to do with its thickness and the temperature it's cooked at. Here's a great tip. Take this porterhouse steak for example. Just imagine we roast it. I reckon it would take around 20 minutes for the heat to roast it through. But if we were to roll it up into a round roast, it would take significantly longer probably around an hour. This is because meat cooks by absorbing the heat from the outside to its middle. Consequently, the thicker the meat, the longer it takes to cook. A good guide for the time needed to cook roasts is to allow one minute of cooking time per millimetre. For example, our leg of lamb measures around 90 millimetres at its thickest part. So it will take around 90 minutes to cook through to about medium. Now we're ready to cook, let's place our roast on the trivet. Turn your control knob to the roast setting and close the lid. With an hour to go in your cooking, it's the best time to do your roast vegetables and place them on your trivet around your roast. At the end of the estimated cooking time, it's a good idea to check that the meat is cooked the way you like it. And you'll get perfect results if you use a Weber digital meat thermometer. One final word on roasting, old habits die hard. And a lot of people still want to roast in a baking dish. But take my advice, don't. Baking dishes are for the oven, not for the Weber Q. Using a trivet and a convection tray, your food cooks fat free, it cooks faster, messy spitting fats are kept to a minimum, and you'll create that sensational Weber flavor. Remember, roast settings do vary for each size Weber Q. So make sure you check your handbook to get the correct settings for your barbecue.